What's going on everyone, Jack here from Half Chrome. Today I'm gonna to walk you through how to set up the Zorro. There is a very particular way I set up all of my remotes. I'm gonna walk you through that. And it's gonna be helpful to kind of understand why I do that because I think it just might make your life a little bit easier. Stay tuned. Now I'm gonna walk you through the setup here on my four in one uh, that I have an ELRS module. That's kind of, I think a really good combo. Actually, I think the uh, the basic version uh, that just flies FR Sky with an ELRS module is pretty solid. And one thing that's really nice about this remote is that it has all the Lua scripts already set up for you. So if you add a module, you don't have to worry about downloading stuff, either uh, whether it's ELRS uh, or Crossfire or whatever, all that stuff is already preset in the Soro, which is really nice. It's all on that SD card that they include. So Radio Master's done some really nice things. Let's dive into how you set this up and uh, how I set up all my remotes. And also why I think you probably want to do it this way too. Let me grab my camera here. All right, so let's go ahead and power this guy Flight on. HTX. Descend. Flight mode angle. Okay, so you'll you notice it, it told me a few different things, and it told me disarmed, right? Um, and I'm in angle mode. I like to know those things, right? My my arm switch is off. I already know that. I know um, my drone is going to be in angle mode because I set up all my quads the same, and I suggest you do that too. It all kind of starts with the radio. So let's let's walk through how to set up a model. The first thing you're going to want to do is hit that model button. Now I'm going to go to an open spot. All right, I'm going to select it. I'm going to create a model, and uh, now I'm going to hit the page button. Now from here. I want to select the model name. I use the scroll wheel, tap it, and I like to name my quads whatever the receiver is. So let's make this, um, let's go with a D16. Right? D16 is a pretty common protocol, and uh, that's what we're going to go with here. Hit the return button. All right, I'm going to scroll down to the bottom, and I'm going to get to where it's asking, ah, right here, internal RF mode, uh, it is off, external RF mode is off, right? Internal is the internal antenna, basically you can think of that, right? And this is the multi-protocol module, so that's what I need to turn on. External RF is off, that's this module bay, right? That should be off, this should be on, and I'm going to set that to multi. Right, so now it's it's using the multi-protocol module, and I have to select the protocol that I'm going to use. Now I already said I was going to use uh, D16, so I'm going to push on the scroll wheel and move this until I find FR Sky. I'm not sure which direction, if I went the right way or not. I'll just keep going until we find it. There we go. FR Sky RX, FR Sky X, subtype D16. If it was D8, I'd hit that, uh, but it isn't. I'm going with D16, okay? Now when I go to bind it, I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna leave it at double zero, that way I can buy multiple mod bind multiple modules. I'm gonna click bind and bind out my quad. Okay, now I've got that set. Uh, I'm gonna pay, click page, page again, page one more time. I'm not gonna bother with my inputs. What I'm gonna do is set up my mixer. Okay, so I'm gonna walk you through setting up your aux channels or your switches on the Zorro here. Now, you may not actually have to do that. Uh, this radio was pre-set up. There are two models in there. If you're flying drones, you may just wanna use and change the name and kind of tweak some of the things. And that's one that says Zorro or the one that says Quad. Now, if your radio gets reset or you just wanna set something up from scratch, you can follow this method. Or if you want to reassign some of the switches so for example, I will show you how uh, I use this button here as my arm switch. And I do that because I'm right-handed and I just want to be able to use my right finger quickly and easily to arm and disarm the quad. Now, if I'm flying ELRS, uh, aux one needs to be my arm disarm switch. Um, and on this uh, preset model, it's actually this one over here, which is my left hand. Not a big deal, doesn't actually really matter for other quads, but for ELRS, that's a big deal. And changing um, is kind of the same setup uh, you can just kind of follow that if you want to. But you don't have to do this if you're if you're happy with the way it is set up one, two, three, four. I go one, two, three, four in terms of my aux channels. 
So channel five is what I want my arm switch to be. So I'm gonna press that. Uh, I'm going to go to source, uh, click it. Then I'm gonna flip the switch that I want to be my arm. This is my always my arm switch for all my quads. So I flip that and you can see that F, SF is uh, active. I hit the uh, return, return again. One more time, I'm gonna do channel six. Right, press, go down to source, press again. Right, this is always my uh, mode switch right here. Return, return, return. Channel seven, press, press again. All right, I always make this my flip switch and my throttle cut. So I'll show you how to do both of those. Return, return, return. And channel eight, press that right here. And I always make this here uh, my turtle mode switch. All right, so now all of my aux channels are set. You do have to set up your aux channels. Now, you don't have to do this next step or these next two steps on the radio, but uh, I think they're pretty useful um, in terms of uh, learning how things work and just kind of making sure you have your radio set. So now I'm gonna hit uh, page, page again until I get two special functions. Now this is kind of a fun uh, little deal here. Uh, I'm gonna press, um, now you see that's blinking. I'm gonna go ahead and flip uh, this switch here, this F, uh, S, S, F switch. Um, and when that is up, what I want that to do is tell me that my drone is armed. So I'm gonna go to play track, right? and I want it to play. Um, so when it's in this position here, that's disarm, right? So I'm gonna go to disarm. I'm sorry, casting, alphabetical jack. Disarm, right, return. So when I flip the switch, disarmed, disarmed right? I also want now uh, to uh, make it tell me when it's armed. So click. Go to play track. And armed. Disarmed. Armed. And I just think Disarmed. that that's really helpful for a beginner, right? To just kind of know at least the minimum your arm or your disarm, right? Um, now, I also will go ahead and set up my mode switch, right? So when it's uh, up like this, I tell it to be in acro mode. That's how I will set all of these things up. Right, and then we're gonna go to play mode acro. Return, return, oops. Right, and then when it's here, we're gonna make this Make this one angle, play track. Play mode angle. Flight mode acro, flight mode angle. Right. Then when I, I will set this switch here um, to be my beeper, Right, so once up, it's going to tell me that it's beeping. Uh, you know, this one's, I don't think nearly, these two are, I think are pretty, uh, pretty important. Um, buzz are activated. Return. This one here, uh, when it's in the middle here, you see that's that middle position. What I'm gonna show you how to do is play track, um, the throttle cut. And that is something that I think uh, will help you uh, kind of learn how to fly. So if you, you know, your, uh, your drone is, is just too powerful and you wanna tone it down a little bit, I'll show you how to use uh, the throttle cut to do that. Um, and then uh, this last switch is my flip, which uh, unfortunately there isn't actually a track for 
flipping. Uh, so what I do is I actually just tell it to play sound. And we'll just do um, the robot, right? And then I know, I know what that means. Okay, so that's how we do that. Now let's go to. All right, so we're gonna cycle around again until I get to the mixer. And I'm gonna go to my throttle. Now I'm gonna walk you through how to do a throttle cut here. So I press, I do insert after, and source. I actually like the source to be this dial here. So uh, I'm gonna hit enter, I'm gonna move the dial. Um, oops. And then the weight, I'm gonna make it 25. I'll show you why. Joshua Bardwell does his a little bit differently. 25 offset. It's going to be 75. Oh, goodness. Went a little crazy here. Scroll down to switch. Buffer active. Throttle cut. Throttle cut, SB in the middle. And I'm going to go to multiplex. I'm going to say multiply. I'm going to do return, return. And I'm going to go down. I'm going to do one more. Insert after. And. Oops, sorry. What am I doing here? Source. Same switch. Um, now my weight is 25. And minus 25. All right. So we're basically the, the, the Radio here now is set up. So let's take a look at what the throttle cut actually did. Um, so let's page uh, to my channel monitor. Okay, so with my switch, um, my switch is off, right? My throttle cut is not on. My uh, channel, my throttle will go from minus 100 to 100, right? That's normal. Okay, now when I th my throttle That's cut is cut. active, this dial here has a huge impact. So my dial is all the way up. It's normal, right? And then what I can do is if I just dial it back a little bit, right? I could adjust the throttle, right? Um, if I roll it all the way back, my throttle's at zero. I get it halfway, my throttle's at 50, right? And if I want to kind of manipulate, right? 80% throttle, I just kind of set it almost to the end, right? So that will kind of deal with how much power I can give the quad, I think. You know, a good rule of thumb is probably somewhere between 75 and 100. Um, you know, just kind of dial it down. You feel it's too powerful. You're bouncing off the ceiling. If you're flying, you're whooping doors. Just dial it down a tiny, tiny bit, right? Um, and even big quads, you can do that. I find that super helpful. Another thing I want to show you, once you've set up a model um, and you've done all that work, you don't have to do it again, right? So you go to the model that you just set up. This is the D16 that I set up. All right, now I hold the, the wheel down. And I can just copy that model and actually copies everything I just did. So now if I look at model five here that, that I just copied, um, as I page through it, um, you know, I'd want to change the name. I'll set my fail safe. Not super important as it used to be, no pulses. Um, and then I can go through and change, you know, so maybe this is my ELRS. I change this to internal off. I turn my external. Uh, to crossfire, right? And then I'm good to go, right? Um, just to kind of show you how some of that works, um, to see the ELRS, I hold down the sys key, um, and then I believe this is ELRS 1.0 and 4 is ELRS 2.0. I've got a 1.0 module on the back here. Um, I haven't updated it yet, so I can go ahead and manipulate some of my ELRS stuff here. Um, you know, that's where I would bind my ELRS module, um, and you'll find that in the sys. Now, setting up the radio is important, but just because I said this is my arm switch, 
the drone doesn't know. So you have to do that in Betaflight. Let's take a look at Betaflight. All right, so now what we need to do is we need to go into Betaflight and make sure our quads are set up the way we set up our radio. So open up the program. All right, so the first thing you need to do is grab your quad, uh, plug it into your computer with the micro USB cable, and boom, you see it pop up in Betaflight. Now mine was on Auto Connect. Um, you know, in some of these, if you go into the receiver tab, uh, you'll see uh, that there's actually a bind button. This one does not have that. So I have to go into the CLI. Um, I just happen to know this one is bind, I think it's RX SPI binding, right? So it says binding there. Um, this is a DA quad. So I'm going to go into that page. Uh, it's my D8. I'm going to go to uh, where it says. I'm gonna go to where it says bind. I'm gonna hit the bind button. And it should start flashing and we're good to go, right? We're gonna back it out with the return, return. And I can see I've got some telemetry on the screen here. And if I go into my receiver tab, telemetry last. gotta reconnect there. Telemetry recovered. We're in good shape, right? My throttle works appropriately um, and the quad works the way it's supposed to, right? We can see aux one, aux two, aux three, and aux four. So my buttons are telling me what it's supposed to be doing, but that may or may not actually be accurate. What I need to do is set that up in the modes tab. Right, so arm should be on aux. We said aux one, right? Descend. And. Right, I can see that this yellow bar here, when it's armed, it's in the spot, and Descend. when it's not, that's accurate. Angle mode, I want to be on aux two now, right? Flight and mode acro. Flight mode acro, when it's not an angle, and. Flight mode angle. Flight mode angle, it's inside the yellow bar. We're good to go. Uh, I said beeper is aux three. Three. Um, now this is uh, D8, the D81. I didn't program that one. I programmed the D16, uh, but I can see that that'll work. Uh, my throttle switch is in the middle, and then flip over after crash. It's going to be aux four, and it'll beep at me. Yep. And I go ahead and click save, and now all my switches correspond. All my switches. Now all my switches correspond with what they're saying. So fantastic. I think that makes things just a little bit easier. You know, I hope this was helpful. Uh, if it was, give us a thumbs up. If not, uh, tell us what we could do better and we'll try. You know, I really like this Zorro radio. Um, it has a nice premium feel. Uh, it's super uh, easy to use. You can customize it with modules, extra antennas, just a, a good little radio. So I hope this was a good tutorial on how to set up switches and get your model going. Good luck everyone and happy flying.